Hi everyone, Cinexsoft here. Uh, now I'm running Kodi 16.1 in an Android TV box. And I'm going to show you how to play files from a DNA server and also why you want to do this. The directory here, video sample, is connected to a Samba share on my Linux PC and I will play this video over Samba. And you can see at the top right is buffering. And it's playing again. And if I let it run long enough, it will buffer again. So that's no good. And one of the reasons, beside the poor Wi-Fi, before, okay, not maybe not poor, beside using Wi-Fi, I'm also using Samba, and it's adding some uh, overhead. All right. So I have set up a DLNA server in Linux using the same files, uh, using mini DLNA application. I explain how to install it and configure it in the link below. So now I'm going to access it from Kodi. You have to select UPnP device and my computer is called FX8350. And you can select the level you want to access and I'm going to go to my two shared uh, directory. I share two directories. Okay, and now I access the files just like I would with NFS and start to play the exact same file. So you see at the beginning buffering is lasting a little longer. So it have a little more space at the start. and it's keeping up uh, with the bitrate of this video so it will not buffer while playing 30, minutes, 30 seconds left so let's check you can check the buffer level at the bottom It's fully buffered. Success! Alright, so I recommend you if you want to have better uh, local video streaming capabilities to use the LNA instead of protocol like Samba. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.